rise for the rendering of military honors.
spread from the United States to the United States Air Force and the grateful nation. Please accept this fact as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones' honorable and faithful service. That was very meaningful, wasn't it, family? It was, so. Yeah, I know he would. I know he would. I appreciate it myself. Uh, I'm honored to be standing here for a little bit today. So you know that. I love Jimmy, and Jimmy loved me. Now, I always called him Spence. That's what I called him. We used to hang around Mullinax together years ago, him and Maxie, and they'd make fun of me and laugh at me. But I love, I love Spence. And, uh, I know today's a tough day. I know today's hard. I understand that. But just a few things, and I'll be brief today, but when I think of Spence, I, I thought of one thing in particular, 63 years of marriage. Can you believe that? It's heard of. It's unheard of this day and time. I mean, Sue, I honor you, Spence. I really do. I honor you for that. You, uh, just a model marriage, and I honor you today for that, and you set the way. You, you, a model marriage. You have set the pace, the legacy that we won't forget. And I want you to know that. You know, as we already know, uh, Jimmy served this country well. He did. I wore this tie on purpose today. I wanted to kind of like match, but I honored him too. But he served his country well. He served it well. And I want you to know, family and friends today, freedom's not free. Somebody had to pay the price. It's not free. Somebody had to pay the price. One of those was Jimmy Spencer. Then he paid the price. Okay, and I honor that today. Uh, he was a hard worker. We all know that. He was a go-getter. We all know that. Uh, he was faithful to his job. We all know that. Uh, Sue rode with him for years. They had fun together just riding over the country. I, 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 I envy you for that. And also, Spence loved his family. Now, I'm hesitant to call out names. But, just call out one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you called it, her name out, Allie Kate? Yeah. yeah. She loved you, honey. Yeah. You waited on Spence hand and foot. And, you know, he, he always loved you for waiting on him. He couldn't do a thing. You'd do it for him. And I know that uh, all of you, Austin, Allison, all of you love Jimmy. I know that so much. He loved his family. He adored you. You was the apple in his eye, the light in his life. And you know that. Now, Jimmy was a very friendly man, really. I've been knowing him for years. He just, you just couldn't go to him. Just, just walk by him without talking to him. He, he was friendly. He kind of drew you in a little bit, Sue. His personality kind of drew you in just a little bit. And uh, the Bible has something to say about that. A man who has friends must show himself friendly. Well, Spence had all that down pat, Tommy. He had all that down pat. You know, so I want you to know in front of your family and friends, I enjoyed my visits with y'all. I really enjoyed my visits with you. You made me feel like a million dollars every time I went. You and Spence both. And I always, always enjoyed You made me feel comfortable. Y'all do know that you got that gift of making people feel comfortable. You got it, Sue. Jimmy had it, too. But of all the things I can say about Jimmy, one rises to the top. Jimmy had taken care of this day, Donnie, years ago. Years ago. We talked about it. We talked about this day. We, know we, we knew that we weren't going to live forever. Jimmy knew that he was in bad shape. He knew that. And he has taken care of this day years and years ago, and I'm proud of that. Jesus Christ was his Savior. Now, did I say that uh, Spence was perfect? No. Huh. Away, away from that, did I say I was or you wasn't? No. I don't like to get around people who think they're perfect. I'm uncomfortable. Spence was just Spence. But he was a sinner saved by grace. 
just an old sinner saved by grace. And he had some hard days, but I'm glad he's uh, he was ready to go. God says he'll be our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Psalms 46.1. It says that. You know, I, I'm sure some days there at the house, too, and when you were maybe busy and Spence was maybe sleeping a little bit, he woke, he woke up to this. God, you with him. You'll take care of me, God. you take care of my babies, God. Take care of me, Lord. And I know, I know he knew that God was his strength. I know that. I can just imagine when Spence went home to be with the Lord, Justin, you called me and uh, asked me to, to come. And, well, you didn't ask me to come. You just said, he's getting low. So I went, I went by there. So you remember the night. He had just passed away. And it, it, ran, it ran across my mind what had just happened. I'm going to tell you something, Donna. It was amazing. Can you imagine when Spence took his last breath? <laughs> what a day of rejoicing that will be. Jesus Christ standing with open arms and welcoming him, saying welcome home. And you know what else, Sue? He dried the tears away from Spence's eyes. He had some tears. He dried those tears away. I get excited when I think of heaven. I get to think about the reunion we're having. Not only Johnny with Jesus, but with our saved loved ones who's gone on to be with the Lord. I thought about his mom and daddy. Can you imagine seeing mom and daddy after a good long while? His sister that I truly believe he's seen before he died. Because he said, she's beautiful. She's so pretty. She was so young and pretty. And you say, well, Gerald, I don't know about that. Yeah, I do. You can't change my mind. God sometimes lets us look over into the glory land just a little bit. And I believe he's seen his sister and his brothers. You know, if, if uh, Spence could talk to me today, I believe he'd say this. Now, baby boy, you make sure you tell my family that I love them. And y'all all know that. Y'all all know that. You, you tell my wife of 63 years how much she was my valentine. You already know that, Sue. You tell my babies, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, how much I love them. He loved you. And I believe he'd say this, to enjoy life. Every day's a gift. We're all going to die one day. Every day's a gift. Make sure you're saved. Spence made sure he was saved. We talked about that day. Didn't we, Sue? We talked about it in the living room there. We talked about this day when you die. Knowing you're saved. He knew that. And I... I think uh, Spence could say anything at all now. We, I, I think he'd say this to all of us today. And he was kind of outgoing, y'all know that. He was outgoing. I, I think he'd say that if y'all could just see me now, I'm fine. It would not say so want to come back. You're exactly right. Spence is fine. I don't think he'd say goodbye. He wasn't a goodbye kind of guy anyway. You know what kind of guy he was? See y'all right a while. See you out a while, baby boy. Come back and see me. See you out a while. I don't think he'd say goodbye. I think he'd say see you after a while. So, family, I want you to know, if you don't remember anything I said or done today, remember, Jimmy's fine. See, he's fine. He is with the Lord. He's met the one who died for him. The one who loved him. So God's love is amazing to me. I'll never get over how God loves us. Now, I know you love Spence, but I'm going to tell you something. God loved him more. Jim, God loved him more. It was, it was God's baby, I'm telling you. Spence, God loved him. You know, family, if you ever need me for anything, uh, you already know I'll be there. If I'm able, I'll be there. I'll be there, Sue. Sue, again, thank you for this high honor. I can stand for hours and talk about Spence, but I know it's cool out here. And... Uh, I, I'm honored that you'd ask me to serve a little bit, y'all. Uh, Jim, Don, I appreciate y'all letting me stand here. I'm happy you did it. And you got a sweet family. Uh, let me say a prayer for you. Okay? God, thank you for the life of Jimmy Spencer. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I am so proud that he made things right with you years ago. He accepted your son Jesus as his personal Savior. And because of that, and because of that only, he's with you. Thank you, God, for that. 
Lord, I'd ask you to comfort the family again today, Lord. The children, the grandchildren, God, and, and the great-grandchildren in a special way, God. Spence is not here, God. He's with you. But he's more alive than he's ever been. He's waiting on us to get there. So, Lord, comfort them in a way as long as you can. And, God, I promise you, we give you all the honor and the glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. <coughs> I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before. No sad goodbyes will there be spoken, or time won't matter. Oh. 